For the wind, it's like that's what we want. We want to actually have the wind moving. Uh, three, two, one, cue the town. What is your name? Hi, I'm Chloe Sumrall. I'm Miss Mississippi Bikini Model 2021. Congratulations. How did you get the title? What did you do? So for Mississippi, we don't have an in-person pageant. So it is an online submission of our portfolio, uh, photo shoots, just a kind of information background. I have been modeling for about 10 years now, and this is actually my first pageant. Uh, why the shift from modeling to pageant? Because on the runway, we have kind of a fuck face, like don't look at me, look at the clothes, right? right. You don't want attention to you, you want attention to the clothes. On a pageant, we want attention to ourselves, we smile, we wave, we kind of more like a girl in that sense. Like what's the, how does this wish take you? Well, a lot of people here will actually tell you that this isn't a pageant. This is a fashion show and model search. There are a lot of agencies that are watching us here. This is giving, getting us connected. And as a Mississippi girl, we don't really have a lot of big agencies around. And this is a way to help put me on the map, make sure that I'm seen by people that I wouldn't be seen by otherwise, and get to model for a lot of people and get a chance to walk in Miami Swim Week. <laughs> The, uh, it is Miami Swing Week taking place uh, now. It's, well, tomorrow's Art Heart starts and there are other shows. Paula Mino something, like there is another, look, Paula something uh, uh, show. There are a couple of shows uh, starting tomorrow. Uh, can you talk a little bit about, like, with your height, with your beauty, wh what it takes to uh, get uh, to the show? Like, why are you not in the big shows right now? Well, first off, thank you for saying my height. This is a big show, but. This is a big show and actually I am staying in town a few days longer because I'll be walking in some of the bigger shows in Miami Swim Week after this so I'll get to do a little bit. Show do you go? Um, I have not 100% got my casting yet so I'm not 100% sure yet. But Which one you hoped you get? Oh, there's so many designers that we have. There's uh, City Swim, there's We Party, and then um, right now I'm actually wearing a suit by Body Glove and I'm hoping to model for them as well. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, Body Glove, the philosophy, the concept, like what's the message here with this uh, designer? So the reason I love Body Glove is they're all super supportive while still being cute. I actually wakeboard every Sunday with a bunch of friends. We go out, we have brunch, and then we go out on the boat and we do wakeboarding. And a lot of times with wakeboarding, I was having to wear some kind of very... What's a wakeboard? A wakeboard, it's like snowboarding, but in the water. So you've got a rope behind the boat and you stand up on the board. So it's kind of like surfing, but you've got these boots in the board. So it's a really fun activity. And for Body Glove, they're super supportive. So I don't have to wear a one piece, but I also don't have to worry about coming out of the water with my swim suit falling off uh, what is the uh, monetization strategy for you like we are like, for example on YouTube we get paid and Facebook we get paid like the more views the more longer people watch it like uh, I have sponsors that uh, pays what, what is the uh, monetization strategy for you as a model like you're getting paid from photographers you're getting paid by the uh, designers like what's the uh, way how the models are earn their living so in Mississippi, there are not a ton of modeling jobs, especially not a lot of paid jobs. I've been really lucky to have some really great sponsors like Beckham Jewelry that I've done custom photo, uh, custom photo shoots and magazine covers for. And I've modeled for Dillard's in their prom and wedding dress section and done a couple of uh, hand, like handmade Italian and French wedding dresses that have come in. So I do get to do a lot of paid modeling back home. I'm very lucky that I've had great photographers to work with in the studio there. But also, I'm just hoping that this can lead to some more opportunities and we'll see how else that goes. You have a great voice uh, and uh, you have ability to be an anchor. You can be a, like a TV personality. You can do way more than just modeling. You have the beauty, but you also have the sound, like voiceover uh, abilities. Like what's the next step like for you? Like, what do you, like now that you did modeling, now you're in the pension space, where, where, where you think your uh, future will take you? Okay, so the big, the biggest goal is I would love to either be, this sounds crazy, I would love to host a game show. I've watched game shows since I was a kid. I've watched two things, um, anything like uh, Family Feud or The Chase or anything where they're doing these hosting deal or no deal. Those hosts, they're so fun. They have to be able to improv and talk to people. I love that, but I do currently own one restaurant and just got a publishing deal for my first cookbook and then I opened my first food truck and my first full-size restaurant on the water in Mississippi next year. So I've loved Sorry. food. I filmed a lot of things with food and my goal would be to have a show on Food Network or work with brands like Food 52, Bon Appetit and have a food show. I would absolutely love 
love to be a part of a food show because I do love to talk about it. And when you're passionate about something, it's super easy to talk about. Food is a complex uh, subject uh, that I happen to be familiar quite a bit uh, in the filming uh, space. Uh, I think that uh, beautiful models and uh, like restaurant really like uh, fills the restaurant. If you have nice pictures and nice people having fun, like what's the uh, uh, any life hack that you can share with other restaurant owners how to attract the models or how to get a word out for their own uh, business your food photography is super important but also video content is 10 times more powerful than your still photography or any kind of graphic that you could create online so it's important to get those video content and make it quick make it snappy if you look up some really awesome here in miami there's a food hall called 1-800-LUCKY and if you watch their videos they are all quick you see what they're making and it makes you hungry it makes you want to go see that and people are definitely going out to places just for instagram now what is your social media um, my social media on Instagram is at Chloe Reagan Sumrall and on Facebook it's Chloe Sumrall Model. Guys, check it out. Awesome, thank you.